Okay, I see one, two, three, four, five. Oh my god. <laughs> it's rigged. It has to be this rigged. This game is easy. I don't know what you're crying about over here. This oh, game is so I easy. I hate you so much, Oda. I hate you. It's day 498, and the axolotls now see me as one of their own. Occasionally, I catch a glimpse of myself in the reflection of the water, and I can't help but think, am I the one raising them, or are they raising me? They seem to have adopted my mannerisms too. I can't tell if the collective stare they give me is admiration or a secret plan to overthrow their human overlord. Sometimes while I sleep, I hear them whisper, plotting the great axolotl revolution, dreaming of a world where they can roam free, unencumbered by the whims of their absurd caretaker. I need to get out. Okay, so why am I here with all these axolotls? Well, there's a very good answer for it. Oda and I are building a head shop. We're going to sell heads on the server, and one head more than every other head, more than goats, more than bees, that has bothered me is the blue axolotl. And here's why, right? Now, in total, I have bred 1,167 animals. I have killed 555 <laughs> axolotls so far. There are about 200 more here in front of me. And I still haven't got the blue one. There is a 1 in 1,200 chance of the blue axolotl spawning when you breed it. That's not many. The reason why they do that is apparently there are only 1,200 axolotls left in the wild, in, in the real world. So that's the number they've chosen. I'm gonna show you the process that I have to go through to, to feed these things. So I have to come out through here. I've got to swim up this crazy waterfall that I've created. And luckily there is a section just up here where there are tropical fish. Now you have to catch them live. They don't take dead fish. So they don't stack in your inventory. You've got to have a bucket for each one. Each one. Um, you've got to capture them all, then take them back and feed them. Yeah, so once you've got the food, you come back here, you, get, <laughs> you struggle to get back through here, then they all come up here on the platform. Look at them, just so many of them. And then one at a time, you feed them. One there, one there. Now let's sit and watch. Give us a blue one, come on. There's the thing, is there a blue one there? No, it's a little yellow one again. Okay, so then we feed the next lot. One there, one there. You get the idea, right? This is sending me crazy. This is the craziest thing in all of Minecraft. The stupid thing is, if they want to raise awareness for 1,200 axolotls that are left in the wild, how about you don't make me kill 1,200 axolotls to get the blue one? <laughs> I, need to, <laughs> I need to get out of here. I need a distraction, and I think I have an idea for a distraction. Hang on. Let's go and take a look at something new on the server. Now, I challenge you, Oda, okay. to something death-defying, something uh, horrible. Oh. Get your sword out. You need your sword oh, for this. Oh, oh okay. Death okay. Fine. Hold on, I shield too. There we go. Yep, yeah, well, wait, I've got to get my shield too. If we're doing this properly, we've got to do it properly. To a game of Yahtzee. I accept. I accept. <laughs> hey, that's not in the rules of Yahtzee. But it was death defying. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> we need to go and play Yahtzee. I went. I watched some people playing it today, and it looks like a lot of fun. And I don't know if I know how to play Yahtzee very well. I haven't played it since I was okay. like eight. So yeah, same here. Um, good. I haven't played it since you were eight. <laughs> Yeah. You were a baby when I was wait, eight. No, wait, what? What? No. Yep. Yep. <laughs> okay. So wait, oh, okay. before we start, because the even though you and I have just read the rules and things like that to make sure we're playing by the rules every time, 
Um, mm -hmm. This is the Yahtzee room. We have scorecards over here. You're player one and I'm player two. Okay. And we have uh, the numbers, which are the coloured colours of the shulker boxes that come out. And oh, that's right. So if, I, so if you get a green shulker box, regardless it's worth of where four. it is, it is the number four. That's right. Yep. All right. <laughs> I'm player one. <laughs> very good. All right. We ready? This is very exciting. Ida. Very yes. exciting. Ready? I'm excited. Me too. All right. All right. Ooh. Ooh. See, that's rough. That's rough. Do I go straight away for the five of the five the full house or do i well one thing that's good about full house is it's uh the score is the same regardless regardless that's three. right yeah yeah so even if you do it with uh two three so that's twos right. and threes right so i could just lock in that one or do i bank on something oh, oh this is difficult already <laughs> i'm gonna so the way you do it yeah. is you lock the dice yeah, you yeah. Keep. yep yeah, so I think I think actually what I'm going to do yeah I'm going to lock in the twos and then I'm going to let the rest just the twos, just the twos. Oh, okay and I'll play for twos oh no oh, all right <laughs> this could be bad <laughs> okay <laughs> third push come on come on come on come on Oh, no! Oh, no! Uh, all right. <laughs> okay, so reset that. All right, my turn, my first turn. Yes. What's his odor luck? Five of cup. Yahtzee. Boom, no, Yahtzee! Oh, you oh. Ooh, that's a lot you're of ones, me. That's a lot of ones. I, I think I'm going to have to go for the ones. Oh, wait a minute. That's the wrong way. I have to... Yeah. Lock the ones that I want to keep. There we go. Okay. All right. All right, second roll. Oh. I think I take the full house. Take the full house. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm player two, so full house is 25 points. 25 that points. page in my thing. Full house. 25. Nice. All right. Oof. What's the luck of... Aussie luck, they call this. Oh, oh this might be good. Yeah, it could be good. Well, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I do have... No, I don't... Mm, I mean, I do have two... Two, five, six, one... No, there's nothing there. There's only the sixes, so... I'll hold on to them. That's not bad. That's all right. No, oh, not again. Come on. One, two, three... Yeah, so I do have, I have, yeah, yeah, nothing. I do it again. Come on, come on. <laughs> two sixes, two threes, and a two. And a two. Well, I'm going to put that under threes. <laughs> oh my god. So is that what six points? Six points. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right, so let me reset that. Oh, cool. The reset actually turns those things. I didn't even realize that from earlier. That's cool. Yeah. Okay, let's see what we got here. Something good, something good. No. Oh, I don't oh, believe it. Twos. I, like I don't of twos. believe it. Okay, so now this time I'm going to save the... See, I think what my problem is, is if we were playing this in real life, I would pick up these two dice. Which yeah, is why yeah, I wanna, yeah, yeah. I feel like I want to mark them. Mark them, yeah. Okay. Second roll. No help. Last roll. Oh my god. Oh, four of a kind. Oh, wait a minute. I don't want to use my four. Yeah, of a kind. use four of a kind. Four of a kind. Woohoo! Awesome. Four of a kind. <laughs> Go. However, oh, no, it's however four of a kind. I think I will. I think I will dump this in twos, though, because that's about. Because if you get five, that's a second Yahtzee, right? Okay, I see one, two, three, four, five. Oh my god! <laughs> it's 
It's rigged. It has to be. This rigged. game is easy. I don't know what you're crying about over here. This oh, game is so I easy. I hate you so much, Oda. I hate you. I hate you so much, Oda. All right. Uh. Okay. I got two rolls at a full house here. Hmm. Listen to all that chink chunk, all that redstone going chink chunk <laughs> in the background. All right. Give me it. No, don't do that to me. <laughs> come on, come on. Oh, yes. Yes. Look yes. at that. Yes. Look at that. Nice. 25 for the full house. The aces, sorry. The Even though it's dice. Yeah, sure. Even though it's dice. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, except, oh, of course I it know. is. Of course it's add the total I of know. all dice with a four of a kind. And you've already scored your twos. Twos, oh, yeah. Or you're going for a Yahtzee then. Yeah, yeah, I have to, hey. Like, I have to go for it. You have to. I mean, oh, you, well, you would to. anyway. Come on, Orange. No, oh, you get the, the it's a color. chance at the same one. It just puts the same thing out again. All right, one more go. Okay. One more go. One more go. Come on, Orange. Come on. Yeah, oh, get it. Oh, that one. is rigged. <laughs> that is absolutely rigged. All right. Well, what can I... Oh. I mean, four of a kind on twos. That's so bad. Uh, two, four, six, eight, ten. I haven't used my threes yet. Yeah, true, true. Or my four. Well, I haven't used my threes yet. Yep. I'm going to go for threes. No, stop, dang stop. It, dang it, dang it. <laughs> okay. I don't know why. Okay. Keeping my threes. <laughs> Yachty! <laughs> Shut up. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Yahtzee! 50 points. All right. All right. What do we need? We need sixes, a Yahtzee, a large straight, and a small straight. Yeah, good. <laughs> yep. Easy. Why not? Why, <laughs> why wouldn't you just, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six? Oh. <laughs> That is well, a full a house, but it's, uh, yeah, so we'll... It does no good for straights. No, um, it doesn't do any good great for, for sixes. Yeah, it's, it's great for sixes and great for Yahtzee. Great for Yahtzee. Okay. Oh, come okay, on! Well, three sixes? Yeah, it's 18, I guess. I mean... <laughs> if I... <laughs> It's pretty nice, though, to end up with a full house after just keeping one dice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, it's getting very difficult for me. Small straight, large straight, and uh, and Yahtzee. I mean, that's already a small straight. It's a three, so four. You know. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. The yeah, right yeah, order. Yeah. They're underneath yeah. their own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So at least we've got that. All right. And I guess we just roll for the for the big guy. Try to get the blue. Alright, one more. And try again. <laughs> if you're not gonna get the blue, get the six. Nah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Oh, yep. Small yep. Straight. Small straight. Well no, it's <laughs> just a, a small straight is to score oh, of thirty, not... so it doesn't matter. Oh, okay, yeah. good. I'll stick with the threes. All right, more threes. Come on. Eh, two threes. Mm. Yep, that's all I got. Two yeah. threes, so six points on threes. All right. Large, straight, and Yahtzee. You know, the two easiest things to roll. <laughs> I've got to go. <laughs> Easy. 
easy. You just easy. go like this. You just go. You don't even look. Look. You just do it this way. You don't even Ready? look. You just, just go. Yeah. You're like you're like the action guy walking back. Oh, actually. <laughs> One, boom! That's a large two, straight. Three, right there. four, five. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. It worked. You're like the guy who like you don't look at explosions. Kind yep, of thing. yep. That's me. <laughs> All right. Are you ready for the luckiest roll ever seen in a game of Yahtzee in the history of mankind? Yes. All right. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. It worked for you last time. You better turn your back to it. And go. Yachty! Oh, oh, yeah. I couldn't uh, even fake it. <laughs> no. I mean, there's as much <laughs> chance of it happening on the six as there is on the fives. I mean, at least you only have to roll three of them instead of four of them. If you yeah, say it's five. true. Okay. Come on, Yachty. Come on, Yachty. Oh, it's a lot closer. That's a lot closer. You're going to do this. I feel it, man. I feel it. You've got it. Go. Come on. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. No. No oh. way, man. What in oh. the what? <laughs> The luckiest <laughs> final roll ever. Oh. How does that even happen? Oh. And 57. So we're 200. And 265. Okay. Two hundred and sixty-five. Are you serious? Uh huh. I had two hundred and sixty-eight. Oh, you're kidding! Wow. <laughs> How did we? That get was so that close. close. Oh my god! Three points difference. Well done, sir. Well done. Oh wow, that's pretty awesome. That's so close. Well done. No, very good. I want a rematch. And we did do a rematch. Uh, we rolled the dice again. And if you want to see the results of that one, you'll have to check out MC Oda's next video. Uh, now, I need to show you some things on the server just quickly before I show you a build that I'm going to start. Uh, yeah, let's head over here. Oh, I nearly forgot. Uh, just over here. So we have this beautiful build that Oda did um, this is his Poseidon's temple, uh, which is his trident shop. And I said to him that he needed something in the corner over here. And I suggested a geode. There was a cave here and, um, he told me to get right on it. So I gave a call out to, uh, Empress Little Bit and we built this thing together. And I think it looks amazing. It's such a good design. Um, we just sort of laid into the cave that was already here and just textured it a little bit, laid down some, um, you know, some of the regular stuff you see in the geode as well as some glass and things like that. Threw around a lot of crystals and gave it a bit of a heavier crust around the outside. And it looks amazing. Such a beautiful build. Um, yeah, but so that was, um, it, it, it's just so gorgeous. As I said, Empress Little Bit uh, helped me out with that. And it just, look at that. Doesn't that look great? I love it. Absolutely love it. Now, seeing how beautiful all of this was, I decided that I was inspired by this ancient Greek sort of themed thing and all those cypress trees and statues and things. And so I've decided I want to build an ancient Greek city over here. So I'm going to get working on a path.
Have you ever done that thing where you think you're doing something but you're not and then you don't think you're doing something but you are? Um, so I did that with this. I thought I was recording me building the path and I wasn't and then I recorded me not building the path <laughs> and, and it's great. So now I have a path and <laughs> I don't have the rest of the video to show you for that. This path comes out here and goes out to the community farms. Uh, these are great. These are just just such a good resource uh, for the server and I don't know if other people use them like I do but they're fantastic if you need a bit of wheat or something or pumpkins or whatever everything's out here uh, Empress little bit has a little caravan out there um, and I have a big ugly XP farm up there I could probably get rid of that now that we all have elytra I probably don't need that and there is a portal up there that goes uh, that's for another day another day the path the path is beautiful. I love the path. Um, it's meant to have like a look about it um, as if it's um, sort of a stony path with all different types of stone and things in it. And I think I've captured that. I think it looks good. I'm really happy with it. It's um, It came up really beautiful. Uh, yeah, so this is my path. Um, now, I... Yeah, if you... I mean, it, and I like the, sorry, I got sidetracked there. I like that it's all different textures, all different things under your feet. So it's, sometimes it's crumbly, sometimes it's like a wooden sound. Yeah, so over here, we've got a little bridge. Um, this is, so the ancient Greeks, when they built things, they were fairly practical, right? They were, they were building things based on, uh, on sort of structure and and things like that the technology for the time rather than beautiful big appearances i mean their columns and things are gorgeous and their temples are beautiful but their bridges are kind of ordinary and so i decided to ignore that and build this also semi-ordinary bridge so i've started um i've started this it's just a very basic sort of structure that goes across there that's that's the idea there um now across the other side here i think we're going with an ancient greek village now there's a little build over here that is impalas this is a a record maker yeah, a record maker. So you would find a creeper over here somewhere, pull him over to here, it traps you in the place. Um, how do I get out? How do I get out? I can't get out. And that should pull the piston down. <laughs> now I'm stuck. Help. <laughs> I did not think this through. <laughs> okay. Let's get off. Um, yeah, and when you do that, then then this piston gets pulled forward like that, and there's a skeleton there to shoot. So you would stand behind it there on the on the bricks, and then that gives you records when they kill the the creepers for you. Um, that's great. I think that we might have to talk to Impala and see if we can get that moved. If not, then there might be a way to um, to sort of work with that. Um, but over here, yeah, so I think we're going to move, well, we're not going to move. We, we're going to head over here and start building and, and start building up the hill a little bit, I think. I think we're going to sort of head up here, around here and up and around there, maybe. Um, I, I haven't done a lot of planning. I'm, I'm a bit sort of trying to guess where things are going to go I'm I'm guessing that up here we'll have like a sweeping road that'll that'll come up um, so I'll need to sort of taper off this this steep climb up onto here um, and then I think we're heading that way from over here so we could get up here and, and sort of build some of that and we're going to need to fill in some holes and things and it wouldn't be bad to have some um some things happening so i think yeah part of this process is going to be just 
just a matter of doing things as we go, having a, having a think about it. Look at how beautiful that, that build looks over there. That's so good. Go and check out Oda's video. It's, um, it's, it's well worth a look. It's a very... It's an excellent old school sort of um, let's play type type episode, and it's really good, really really good to watch. Um, so, and we'll we'll clear this back. So, what I want to do is get more a sweeping sort of staircase. So, we're going to go easy on the um, how much we clear of each level. I'm going to need to go a lot further back on the on the top level. Let's just let's just get to a to a distance down here, and this is often how I do this. This is this is part of my process. Is that I would say, okay, so I want to come over the from over here. How do I get naturally up up there? So I would probably probably clear a little bit of this, giving myself a, a space. And I'm very messy as I go. That might surprise some of you, others not so much. Um, so we'll we'll get like a like a pathway going. We'll probably take this out a little bit further here. Uh, just just place some blocks down. Um, there we go. A little bit of lawn maintenance as we go and head over here. So as we head up. Um, then I would get rid of those, they're in the way. Um, and then maybe even that out a little bit. There. Okay, we're nearly getting there. I've, I've skipped forward a little bit here and we've sort of got a bit of a pathway, a little bit of a wall here that I'm, I'm sort of working on that's just gonna be like a retaining wall along the edge here. And uh, yeah, once I've got this up here, I have oh, stick some grass down there. Um, so we're starting to get a bit of a a bit of a stairwell sort of coming up here. I think we come down and around that way. Maybe what we need to do is just to mark down some of the path to see see where it's going to go let's um let's just flatten some of the grass as we go we'll just r randomly sort of throw this down um, not caring too much about where they go um, just taking me in the right direction and this is just a visual aid for me to see where i'm going um, okay so head up here yeah, i think we sort of yep this is more thought than I normally give. Uh, yeah, we'll head over this way a bit and then up the hill and, and, um, yep. And then up, up in this direction. Yeah. Okay, I think that feels pretty good. It gives me the general idea of what I'm doing here. Uh, the only thing is now I want to build up here and I've got this whopping great spot here So I might fill all of that in I think here have it quickly done for you Okay, so not only did I do the hill, but I sort of finished everything else as well. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had every intention to show you this whole process and everything, and I have just run out of time. So as we head up over here, over the bridge, um, so the bridge still doesn't look any better. I think, I think the bridge looks pretty good, actually. I like the bridge. Um... Yeah, I think I think it's done. I think maybe just need something dark underneath, but I think it's looking pretty good. The path here is all looking good, um, and yeah, and then I've got the little guard tower there next to the bridge, and then we come across. This is how the path finished off. 
and I like the path. This path I think is good because it's sort of a bit more dirt based. Um, and and that that I wanted it to have a different look to it. So over the other side is sort of like the main road and then the path sort of comes over here towards more the village sort of thing. Um, so heading up the stairs that we built before there and then up the top here, look, I built the first of the village, the little house and the village up here. And this looks great. I really like this. Um, so I am the only thing I'm not sure about those pillars and I think they're going to change and I think by the time you see the thumbnail, you'll have seen them changed. Um, but I think it's just a simple sort of build, but it it sort of captures the idea. And, and the thing is, got to remember, this isn't just a build. This will be a number of builds all put together. Um, you can see in the background, wait, no, that is Melissa's Bahala there. So with Oda's thing in the background there, we're sort of looking at, an area which has all sort of got that theme to it now that that's what i wanted so this will be the first of many builds basically um yeah so just a little little jutty out bit at the start a little entrance way here that comes out that's a little bit sort of different um and then and then the main bit you'll notice over on um over on the community village they've used mangrove for the roofs and i've used granite and the polished granite and some jungle uh, just because I find it hard to texture when I use mangrove. Mangrove is such a dark color that it's very overbearing when you try and do any sort of texturing. If I show you over here, no, if I don't show you over there, so my shop over there is that sort of maroon terracotta look and it was very hard to get any sort of texturing done so I've gone away from that. Uh, now what have, what have we done? So textured all the bottom area down here. So got the stone and and gone in with gravel and some glow lichen and mossy things and things to give it that sort of wet appearance in the corners and things. Um, and then some little sort of like from a distance that looks really good that I think it blends in really well. And then a little bit of birch up here with the sandstone and the smooth sandstone just to give a little bit of texture up to the top bit here and then the window frames out of dark oak and yeah just threw in some trees some some acacia trees and I think it's looking pretty good I really like the way this has come out I've, I'm really really loving the look of this house it's got this beautiful sort of old you know, well, it's meant to be an ancient Greek village, so it's meant to be an ancient Greek house. <laughs> so there you go. That's the exterior of that. I think it looks really beautiful. I also did an interior, and I know I'm not good at the interiors, right? But Empress Little Bit did a video. She's done a couple of tutorials lately, and she did a video on interiors. And some of what she's doing is starting to rub off on me. If I watch it enough, I start to think a little bit differently. So go and check out her video and you can see in there how she goes about this process of doing things. And I implemented some of that with this and I'll show you what I've done inside. Doors open, that's lucky. No, it's shut. Okay, so in here, I have done an interior. I'm pretty happy with it. I've, it's very simple, but I thought about things a different way, thinking about not just what things are, but what they can be. And that's a big thing that, that Empress Little Bit goes into. Kevin, keep it down, mate. All of those noises you're hearing down there, they're all coming from one mob. Um, I'll show you him later. Uh, so, yeah, we've got things like the little shelves and then, you know, potted flowers on top. Uh, a painting, of course. I went with a piston here for a, for a table. Um, I know sometimes you see them, people push the piston down and then, and then activate it so it sits up and then you've got the chairs either side. But I think it looks pretty good like that. I can imagine sort of sitting underneath this more solid table sort of thing. Yeah, I really like the way that looks. And yeah, so a couple of ovens there...
Oh, look, I have some updates available. Isn't that a convenient time for Intel to let me know that? That's lovely. Thank you. Um, so, <laughs> now I've lost my train of thought. Where was I up to? There's stuff everywhere. Uh, ovens, sink. I like the sink uh, with a little tap coming out of it there. And then uh, <laughs> I like that because it's got sort of the plumbing going into the wall, which looks really cool. So just a hopper there for that. And uh, then, you know, the garbage disposal next to that, just in the kitchen there, as you do. Not. Uh, the electric oven top, which is good for ancient Greek uh, <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Look, I'm just trying to get something going here. I'm trying to work on the interiors. Uh, a range hood, which also well known that the ancient Greeks uh, invented the range hood. Um, <laughs> and just some bookshelves there as uh, your sort of cabinets or something like that. Um, yeah, I, 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 I like the way this is coming out. I think it's good. I think it's, uh, I think it's starting to look good and I'm starting to get a better idea of how to do these. So uh, yeah, they're just, they're just a basic sort of shelving thing there. Um, now this is my pride and joy. Look at this. I have, uh, I have a, like a meat dryer. Look at that. Did you know you could do that? I didn't know you could do that. So, um, yeah, so put the meat on there, then put the fire out, and then the meat stays there raw, and then it's like little shelves. Isn't that good, hey? Um, yeah, so then uh, then I've got a little couch here, um, and, and the bookshelves and things underneath the staircase, and a head there. I don't know why they've got a head in their lounge room, but the ancient Greeks did that all the time. They love to put heads in their lounge rooms. Uh, another little table and chair over here and another shelf. I brought some greenery inside because I felt like it needed some color like there as well. Um, it sort of makes it feel a little bit more cozy, I guess. And then we head around and we head upstairs and this room, yeah, it, it it a little bit basic but i i think it's good i i like this just a simple bedroom it needs something at the head here i don't know what um how about we throw one of those there there you go done no we're not going to put that there there yes good we're finished um yeah so this is the interior look a little coat rack there a shelf with another one of these on it that's great <laughs> <laughs> and then some storage up the top there and a little desk here where you could do some work and things like that. Um, and a banner, of course, an ominous banner because I killed some guys who came into my room. That was that was all that was. Yeah, this is this is really good. I'll have a sleep. And um, I think that might do us for this week. Where should we go? Where should we? Oh, we've got the lookout here. Look, look at the so I figured that you wouldn't really have door locks and things back then but this gives you a lovely view of the river and stuff from up here and just a little courtyard that you can sort of sit out on and just decorated barrels and things like that around the outside I think I'm done explaining all of this I think you get the idea the interior looks pretty good I'm pretty happy with it um, so I think we're done I think that's it um, yeah all right, one more look with the shaders on. That looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, what else? I feel like there's something else I have to tell you. Um, what was it? Yeah, um, I've, uh, there is this. I know what it was. I know what it was. Axolotl update. Okay, so I've now killed 900 axolotls and I still haven't got the blue one. <sighs> anyway, it'll happen soon. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys to death. You guys are the best. Uh, next week, we'll be back at home, back in the single player world. Um, please be sure to check out all of the other Craftworks members. They're, all of their names are down in my description. Um, and come and join the community Discord where you can talk to us, me, everyone uh we we all love you and we love the interactions uh thank you again for joining me i love you guys have a great week and i'll see you next week catch you later bye